it's about six o'clock, the dryer's been running all night. We don't we can't use it in fully auto at the moment because of the way the boiler's set up running off the hot water. So I'll just come checking it. Anyway, I'm gonna discharge it in a bit, just gonna put it on a cooling timer. This, you don't need to see, but look at the moisture that we've driven out of this today. That was put on last night. And then this floor hasn't been turned on yet because we wanted maximum drying on one of them so that we could then change it quick and then get another batch in. So I'm just gonna sort the dryer now and then hopefully we can get some more corn cut in a bit. Look at all them that seem to have took root in the yard because there's spilled grain everywhere. Let me... They need shooting. Big drain wash through there, hit it with a combine yesterday. And then Richard didn't see it and fell down it with the fast track. Thought he was gonna roll it because the whole wheel literally fitted in it. It's just after nine o'clock. This is the earliest we've ever got cutting. But it's really damp, but it was really damp yesterday. It got rained off last night. And there's a chance of a shower coming over at about sort of 10 o'clock. So we thought we might try and see if we can get this field finished. Probably got about 15, 16 acres left in it. And then it could be wet again all weekend as well. I know we've got tomorrow, it's supposed to be not a bad day. But the idea was to try and get this finished, try and get the spring barley finished at the side of the railway, and then the combine is finished up here and we can take it back through the garden. This is the first time we've ever come up here and cut everything while we've been here because normally the oil seed rake's not ready before. Well, we normally have winter barley, it's ready, then we come back for the oil seed rake, then we'll come back for the wheat, maybe the beans. This year we've been able to bring the combine up here, cut oil seed rake the same day we've been cutting wheat and then cut spring barley, the same day we're cutting wheat, so the whole thing's all ready at one go is unusual but it's good for logistics just going really steady though because like i say it's uh it's, it's saying it's 29 percent i don't think it's that wet but it ain't it ain't very dry i forgot to turn the chopper off so i've ended up chopping a little bit anyway i've put the straw down now i'm just gonna empty before we get to them power lines because they're quite low and obviously the oil goes up quite high Close to the wires now, so I'm going to fold down and then go underneath. So now the orb is safely stowed away at the back, just folded in the mirror. Under we go. It's not too bad because it's not massively hot today, but on a hot day, you don't half droop because the copper expands and gets longer and droops closer to the floor. Just had a random phone call off Google, which annoyed me because apparently they'd rung up Wendy in the office a few weeks ago and said just they were updating the details and checking that the address was right and the phone number for, for the company name and whatever. And then they were like, oh, do you want a free Google page for the for a month and you can, for a trial? So she's like, well, I'm not paying anything, it's free, whatever. So they, they did us this free page, unknown to me. And they made up all the stuff on it. There's nothing to do with me. So they put a lot of generic pictures on of like rubbish tractors and like a tiny little doits and stuff like that. And then they put a load of waffle out, we grow grass fed beef, livestock, and we harvest our produce to minimize the damage and all this, that, and it's like absolute waffle. There's nothing to do with my business. And then now they want me to pay to keep it there or edit it. And I'm like, you've just misrepresented my business for a month and you want me to pay you? I said, you need to put it right for a month and then I'll think about it. But well, the guy didn't seem to get it, but it's just, I don't think it's on that, they, that Google are that big that they can then put the, this online presence that's, that's fake for a month and with no room, you know, like nothing, no comeback. It's really wound me up. The rain's come, the field's started to go grey, spring bar on the other side of the railway is now getting wet and I'm waiting for a trailer because Andrew was off disking this morning and we didn't think we were going to get anything cut and we decided we had to go quick. So we've got this little bit left to do, so hopefully the trailer won't be too long and I can just get the last bit done. Then we might have to come back for that spring barley. I went to check the barley the other side of the railway, it's currently really wet. Anyway, James got back with the trailer, emptied the tank and set off again, so it's need to be seated now, I'm getting wet in the rain. Can't really see the rain, but it, it is drizzling. You can see it on my shoulders, can you? Yep, just. The deer as well, I missed the deer. So the deer came out of this field, went through that gap and then into the trees over there. So I didn't get it on video though, because I was on the phone. Yeah, we just following the auger out now. Basically, I think it's about 10 meters the auger, because it goes 12 meters from the machine. But from this angle, you can really see how big it is. 
not often you get to see it from behind, so I'll, I'll fail and unload it now. It's, it's coming out quite slowly because it's so damp. But this is another block of wheat finished. There you go, you can see the rain now. It's having three new new, one and a half. When it's damp, it runs on the bottom of that flat. When it's dry, it runs on the top and we don't need the bottom of the flat. It's weird, really. That's why I'm a bit like that, whether to cut it off or not, because like today, we want that extra bit to flick it into the trailers. But when it's barreling out dry, it's hitting the top of the spout and that's what stops it going over the other side of the trailers. The wheat finished cutting now at Rainhill, just this little bit to go. It's currently raining. I feel, I feel like I broke a record because basically this last few weeks all we've been doing is combining the rain, which is not normal whatsoever. So that's a wrap on this now. We can't go over to the barley because obviously it's raining, but maybe later on today we might get some more of them, who knows? Instead of going straight across there, we're going to go around the diversion, so I'll time lapse it. There we go, we're back now on the road. That was the diversion, it takes about four or five minutes. We don't know whether we can fit the combine down that narrow road because you don't even notice if there was bollards and like crash barriers on the side. Oh, there's a little close. It's good looking good. Do you never reverse the fan? Shake it out, blow it, shake it out and blow it out. Well, if you press the reverse fan, it'll blow off that now. This is past blowing out, so I'm jet washing it. have this stapler for stapling stuff like for when we're doing the maze and I didn't realise it's got automatic mode so if you flip that that way look at that they actually fly out of it well dangerous it's good that isn't it open field wagon just got royal sea brake off the wagon coming with royal sea brake from Riffield I don't think at the garden centre looking for some hedging for the back of the yard where we put that fence and some trees for either side of the gate of the new farmhouse to make it look the step look a little bit more inviting. Sam's here in the pickup so he doesn't damage them. We don't they won't fit in the car. The way back from the garden centre we just had a shower. Anyway it's rained at one end of the yard and not at the other end of the yard. That's how localised it is. So if you go around that corner there the, the concrete's dry. Look at that it's dry here it's not rained about update, it's four o'clock, everyone's gone home. Next door doing a bit of ploughing, soil destruction. Just at the aptly named Rainhill, because it seems to always rain, Sam's got a road train on the go, because we're going to go across the railway, so we just like to show them that it's not just them that can tow lots of um, carriages. So hopefully we've got 40 acres the other side of the level crossing. We don't really like going in that field unless we're going to finish it. But we're getting frustrated, we've got loads to do. We want to get that barley off, get the combine back, get back into wheat. So we're just going to go and try and cut it now. Got our new level crossing now. Nice rubbery, can't slip over on this. Big black cloud behind us. Belt of rain coming in there. Can feel it on the wind. Hopefully we can get it done though, but we'll see. Blue skies on the way. We're literally cut across the level crossing, which takes a bit of messing and now we've got rain what a joke it's literally following the railway I don't you can see the cloud there I don't know it's a couple of header on and just sit and wait and see what happens Sam's just spotted that blue sky over there but unfortunately we haven't got any fields over that way right we waited five minutes it stopped raining it's obviously raining over there at the top of the hill where we cut wheat the other day, so that's the straw wet again. But there's this belt here, and I have a feeling it's not raining that side of the field. So we're going to put the header on, try and get around the headland and see. And if it's not raining that side of the field, I'll start over there and then work back. If it's rained all over and we can't cut, then we'll have to give up, but we're going to try. How to tell it's wet combining without telling when it's wet combining. 
when the trailers are tipped up at the edge of the field, draining the water out of them. So where have you come from? Uh, Suffolk. Suffolk, where that trailer's made. All the way. <laughs> Sorry, it's just on the phone. <laughs> Wife's telling him off because he stood next to a combine. And they're on the way to the lakes, they've been to some farm made and they've been around Liverpool as well. So give everyone a wave. There you go, you'll be in tonight. <laughs> we took the header off, we decided to give up. It, it's that wet and it's making a bit of a mess of the field. So we're going to leave it till tomorrow because what I'd more cutting in a couple of hours tonight. I could do in the morning in, in maybe two. It's a bit of a got a bit of weed in it as well. This field was destined for spuds, but like I say, um, last minute it was to change to spring barley because we were let down by some. Well, not really let down. They just decided they wanted another field instead. <laughs> there was issues to dig the spuds off, so it, it never had a lot of potential because it's quite a wet field, and we all have said all that bad weather as well this year and the dry weather and everything. So we've not spent a lot on this crop. It's just kind of a, it was more of a cover crop to. But anyway, we'll come back to it tomorrow and see if we can get it finished. We just I got to Google, the lads Google the now. I forgot to tell you, so that, that thing this morning with Google. Yeah, Google out, it wasn't Google, it was someone that but, and like, Google is what and tried to scam us. Well, make not scam us, but every month. What they did was, you can put your own channel. business on Google so, and say what you're doing and where you are. Google's great. Like well, this company kind of rung up and like made out that they were ringing on behalf of Google, but really they were putting you on Google themselves and getting your code off Google to sort of represent your business's Google presence, which is free. And then they put it on wrong, and then they were also then trying to correct it, but then go, oh, we're doing this for you, and you can pay us £250 a year or £150 a year for us to manage it for you when it's free to do. So anyway, they've been told where to go, so... Um, just be wary of that, anyone, if you've got a company to, that, that, that someone doesn't ring up and pretend to be Google. It's a bit like when people ring up and go, well, we're ringing about your mobile phone, but they're not ringing by from where your mobile phone's come from. They just be, they just know your contract's up, so they're trying to get you to, to move over to them. Anyway, they, they rung Wendy, and she didn't really understand what was going on. And, um, yeah, they were trying to sort of scam us a bit, really. Size of that spider. That's where you're getting all going. Look, look at this, eh? This mass, it's got disabled access. It's like it's like a flight of stairs. They're not steps, them. There we go. It's uh, on the air. Hold on. Massy. Hold on. Look how straight them rows are with the GPS. The Massey, slumming it. <laughs> On the fast track, quick quiz question. What's that for? That button. If you think you know, leave a comment below. Just come for a quick look at the oil seed rate, and it looks absolutely fantastic. It's now been in the ground, uh, I don't know, two or three weeks maybe. It's basically stitched across the rows, which is good because it'll keep the pigeons out a little bit, a little bit behind just here. But I think it's just because the stubble's a bit higher and it's harder to see. Yeah, it's just not quite, quite meeting across the rows here. But I'm well pleased with that. A little bit of grass weeds in it, but we'll knock them out. But yeah, that's pretty good to be fair. We want cabbages by Christmas and then the pigeons can't land in the canopy then. It is good this fast track having the sat nav screen there but the only thing is is it really makes it blind looking to your right hand side you kind of like gotta peer forward. When you come to a road end you're like like to see what's going on. Anyway that's really about all for today on the wet annoying day. If you want to watch another video it's over there if you want to subscribe it's over there. Thanks everyone that's watching and there's a guest outro and I'll see you tomorrow.